Who knew one city could produce such cinematic magic? Welcome to Watch Mojo UK and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 movies set in London. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at films not only set in London, but those where London is so ingrained into the fabric of the movie that you can't imagine it being set anywhere else. Number 10, Quadrophenia. Well, that gear you've got, it's leather. That's it, goes with a bike, doesn't it? This film took us back to the 1960s when London was full of mods and rockers and Britain was steadily establishing itself as the epicentre of rock and pop music. With the likes of Phil Daniels and the then rising star Sting leading the way, it's a movie that made a permanent mark in the city, celebrating its subcultures and setting it all to a seriously good soundtrack, courtesy of The Who. What's more of a tribute to London than riding on the back of a scooter down its streets and navigating the ups and downs of teenage life? It's a bit of a history lesson at the same time. You gotta be somebody, ain't ya? Or you might as well jump in the sea and drown. Number 9. Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. At last, my arm is complete again. You just don't see a lot of musical horror films these days, do you? Still, it's hard to miss Tim Burton's rendition of Sweeney Todd with Johnny Depp front and centre. The dark, haunting back streets of the Big Smoke serve as Todd's playground here. And while music and singing play a large part in this production, don't be fooled, the horror still very much exists. A pie-making shop and barber company don't often go hand in hand after all. The film is set in 1846 and seeing the city in a new, much darker light is an enjoyable and unique experience. Number 8. Dirty Pretty Things At the hotel we are friends, I'm not different. Shh. I'm not different here. This early noughties film starring the brilliant Audrey Tattoo and Chiwetel Ejiofor follows the story of two immigrants in the capital. One a taxi driver, the other a hotel cleaner. What really catches the eye is that Dirty Pretty Things is filmed in a documentary style way and as such it looks at London without the glitz and glamour that you might find in other productions. That is all it is. I will collect my things and go. Go? How can I stay? A Richard Curtis comedy it certainly is not. Instead, this thriller looks at the real complexities of the city through the eyes of some incredibly interesting characters. You have been to New York. And you came back. Number 7. V for Vendetta. Good evening, London. A political thriller set in a dystopian world, this movie tells the story of an anarchist freedom fighter who tries to start a revolution. The cast is led by big names like Natalie Portman and Hugo Weaving, but V for Vendetta is by no means just another Hollywood production. It's original, unpredictable and well and truly British, with most of its more pivotal scenes playing out in London. Stand down! Stand down! A movie that's full of fireworks, drama, top-notch acting and a mass vigilante you do not want to mess with, it's a comic book adaptation unlike any other. Number 6. Snatch. Should I call you uh, a bullet, a tooth? You can call me Susan if it makes you happy. The British gangster flick can sometimes feel an acquired taste, but Snatch sets all new standards for glorious grittiness and cutthroat comedy. With its rich and varied cast ranging from big budget A-lister Brad Pitt to ex-football hardman Vinnie Jones, it charts the comings and goings of London's criminal underworld. And while its tongue is set firmly in its cheek, the film doesn't shy away from on-the-money fight scenes involving appropriately unhinged characters and an endless stream of good old-fashioned British swear words. For Guy Ritchie fans, it's one of his finest movies. Where? London. 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 London? Yes, London. Number 5. Shaun of the Dead. Go for the head. <clears throat> Edgar Wright's horror comedy follows the wholly unexpected story of Sean, a down-on-his-luck Londoner who gets caught in the middle of a zombie uprising. Naturally. And as the title character and his mates, and David, search for some semblance of safety, they wind up heading to the Winchester, Sean's local pub. With cricket bats in hand and a selection of beers on tap, the rest is a manic fight for survival featuring a dart to the head, a rifle Big Al was right about, and Queen on the jukebox. It's not exactly your standard Friday night knees up, but it's bloody brilliant. The dead word, don't say it. Why not? Number four, Bridget Jones's Diary. Oi! Oi! 
As with Love Actually, Notting Hill and About a Boy, Bridget Jones's Diary has the requisite Hugh Grant appearance, but it's also the film that puts comic perils of 30-something life in London firmly on the movie map. Bridget navigates friends, family, jobs and relationships in the city, and it sure isn't easy. Whatever setbacks she faces though, she somehow overcomes them with style, and most of her dignity still intact. Between Bridget, Daniel and Colin Firth's Darcy, it's like a movie love triangle 101. The do's and definitely don'ts of looking for that perfect someone. I like you very much, just as you are. Number 3. The Elephant Man This early 80s historical drama sees John Hurt play the severely deformed John Merrick in one of Hurt's most iconic roles. When Dr. Frederick Treves, played by Anthony Hopkins, finds Merrick featured in a local freak show, he sets about helping the man out of his desperate situation. But there are countless challenges to overcome, and Merrick's story becomes perhaps one of the bleakest movies ever set in London. Have you always been the way you are now? Given that The Elephant Man is also filmed in black and white, and it's based on a real life story, it can feel a difficult watch, but few films hit such emotional heights. The terrible elephant. Man. Number two, Sherlock Holmes. That's the mystery. The only mystery is why you bothered to blindfold me at all. This was hardly the first time the classic literary character and the crime-ridden world he resides in was brought to life for the big screen. But Guy Ritchie's stylish take on the classic injects all new oomph into the story. With Robert Downey Jr. as Holmes and Jude Law as his trusty partner Dr. John Watson, not only was this film and its sequel a commercial success, but it also won critical acclaim across the board. And honestly, what better way to see the London of old than to witness it through the blockbuster lens of a Hollywood whodunit? Right here. Parliament. Number one, Mary Poppins. Mm, rather inclined to giggle doesn't put things away. Few film characters feel as quintessentially British as Mary Poppins, the no-nonsense nanny sent to bring an Edwardian London family closer together. And while the Disney musical was famously filmed in California, with the London scenes as painted backdrops, the English city setting is a major part of the magic. Of course, Julie Andrews takes the lead role for an all-singing, all-dancing spoonful of cinema that's guaranteed to get you smiling. Leaving us all with an unrelenting urge to fly kites, there's only one word for it, really. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.